All new at 5 o'clock, CBS News Texas, on your corner. We're in your corner today. Your neighborhood reporter, Caroline Vandergriff, is in Coppell, sharing with all of us a pretty unique summer camp where students are building their very own robots. These Legos aren't just for play. Teams of incoming 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are using them to build robots and then program them to perform specific tasks. I was intimidated to begin with because I've never used robots and I was worried that I might hold my team back. And so after a while I got to used to the coding and then I became the one who was coding it all. The 10 day summer camp is a crash course in engineering, coding, design, all right, you're doing good, buddy. and how to work together to find creative solutions. Solving problems is the annoying part, but once you solve those problems, that's when it becomes fun. Volunteer instructors with the Capel ISD Education Foundation make sure students understand what robots bring to a variety of industries. Robotics is playing a big role in many different walks of life. The students can find some real world examples just a few miles down the road at McLaren Automotive. The company moved their North American headquarters to Capel last year and jumped at the chance to partner with the school district on this initiative. We saw an opportunity to make a sponsorship that could have a future impact on our business because we want to get young folks engaged in engineering. And showing off a high performance race car for the road. This one can go 250. Five miles an hour. Oh, okay. Just may help provide that inspiration to continue learning about STEM related fields. There's obviously dozens of sensors and, and hundreds of microchips in the car, and um, it, it, it's some of what they're figuring out as they build the, the robots inside there. Helping these robots navigate their own set of challenges. We've used a distance sensor to sense obstacles to dodge them. Has given these students not just new skills, but a newfound sense of confidence. And I might pursue a STEM career in the future. Building the next generation of engineers. <laughs> Lego by Lego. In Capel, Caroline Vandergriff, CBS News, Texas. Caroline Vandergriff, in your neighborhood, in Coppell, all the time. And if that's you and you have a story idea for her, she'd love to hear from you. Let her know. Send an email in your corner at ktvt.com or 